Hey guys, it's this little cloth here, and today I'm sorry, there's some Monster Legends leaks video. We have a bunch of new leaked movesets as well as some new leaked events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is a new moveset for a Tiny Trap, which is going to be a nature and water attacker with Pierce Hater trait. So it is going to have a moderate nature damage to one enemy, it also has a massive water damage and applies stamina leak to one enemy. It has an AoE with remove 30%, which is okay. It also can apply toxins to all enemies, which is really good, and it also has that in single target, and that does insane nature damage. And then it also has a double damage, which is very, very good. So it's double damage mixed with its very high damage output, it will be able to do a lot of damage. It will be able to kill pretty much anything. So yeah, pretty good monster right here, he can do a lot, a lot of damage. Then we have its description right here if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have an upcoming uh, mini maze for a Heister Keister and Ion V2. So if you want either of those monsters, go and get them they're both pretty great and then we have two uh, new uh, traits we first have a new effect pierce hater and then we have the status caster pierce hater so yeah, it'll just do triple damage against monsters with the pierce trait which is really good and of course the status caster will just give it to itself at the start of the battle and then apparently they're bringing the treasure cave back which is pretty cool that was a fun little event if i'm remembering correctly i think it's the one that you like open the doors and get rewards that was pretty cool so yeah glad they're bringing that back and then we have the upcoming coming up bounty hunt right here we have tiny trap is going to be in the bounty hunt which is pretty cool but he will be the pay to win monster so i guess if you want to buy a monster go ahead and buy him he does seem pretty decent so i guess he might be worth it he's not like super op or anything though and then we have an upcoming up monster challenge for sky cold he's actually pretty decent so if you need him for a book or if you want to use him on your team go and get him and then we have three upcoming monsters right here junk owl rusty red tail and hammer lit sock i don't really know what to think about any of those names they sound interesting and then we have an image for the Legends Pass right here. So if you wanted to know what any of the monsters look like or what they are, they're right here. And yeah, go and try to get them if you can and get this one especially since it is the free-to-play one. And then we have the full checklist for Season 3. If you want to know where any monsters are going to be in, they are all confirmed. And then we have a Kalita breeding event combination right here for the brand new monster Kalita. You'll be able to get it out of that breeding event. Kalita is this monster on the right. And our combo is going to be Tempest and Griffin. So yeah, if you want Kalita, go and get those monsters and a breeder and then we have a dolorous's description right here if you want to go and read that and then we have dolorous's a move set so dolorous is going to be a thunder and light controller with repentance a light weakness stamina removal and stamina leak so it has removed 50% stamina from one enemy, then 75% from all enemies, which is pretty decent. It can also apply repentance to one enemy and remove 75% of stamina and apply stamina to all enemies, which is interesting. It also has a light weakness with low light damage. It has a repentance, remove 35% stamina from all enemies and apply repentance to all enemies. And then it has an AoE light weakness and a repentance, and then it has a 50% stamina leak on one enemy. So it seems like it has some pretty decent moves. Go ahead and try to get it it can do stamina like it can remove a lot of stamina which is pretty good it will be pretty annoying if you don't have relics to counter it but you can get relics to counter it so that does make it pretty easy to beat but yeah if they don't have relics to counter it go ahead and use it it's pretty decent and then we have a, a back to school contest so you'll be able to win one thousand dollars by playing monster legends apparently which is interesting i guess go ahead and do that and then it'll also have back to school chess of course and a back to school book where you can get monster cells and obsidian relic vault keys north berries and more which is pretty cool definitely go ahead and do that and then we have the alpine era season four checklist with quite a few events already confirmed so if you want to know where any of those monsters are going to be go and check this out and then we have a lancel floats description right here and we have that he is going to be a water and metal attacker with shields torture immunity bleeding and boiling which does sound pretty good so yeah that is going to be for this video let me know down in the comments which monster you guys are most excited for now see you in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye